Hello, I'd like to show you how to convert this three adjoining grammar into an LCFS in simple RCG notation that covers the same string language. That's an important point. We are not keeping the tree structure, we will only um, keep the same string language. And I will only write down the production rules because the other parts, um, the terminals, non-terminals, variables, you can easily figure them out by yourself. So first let's think about uh, this tree. So we will convert this tree into a production rule that will look something like this. We will have a predicate on the left hand side and we will have something on the right hand side. So first thing, let's think about what can happen with this tree. So here we have the non-terminal S. Um, if we would have another, if we would have an adjunction tree with the S node as root and foot, we could adjoin in those S node and then what would happen is we, um, some new terminal strings would appear here on the left side and on the right side if we would adjoin to this node. But in this case we don't have any adjunction trees that would fit in this place so here we don't, here we will never adjoin so we won't include new material left and right of those S node. But if you look at the A node there we have a different story look at those A node. If we would adjoin this beta tree into this A node, then um, if you can imagine we would include this part, this part we would, uh, we would cut this tree through and we would include this part here so these B and C would move a little bit down and those two A's would appear here in well, in case we would just adjoin once, but if we would adjoin several times, then we would uh, have um, um, more A's here. So we don't know what exactly we will have here, but we know we can include more strings here between A and B and between C and what comes afterwards. So, and then we have those D. So D is a substitution node, that means we can include this part, we can substitute this node, this tree, into this place and then we would have um, another part below this D. So we don't really care about that now, we just know that there will be something below the D. So let's, um, yeah, let's use this, these hints to form our production rule. So as you can see here, we will, if we are handling this tree, we will produce at least those three strings, which are A, B and C. I just write them with some spaces in between. Now if we are adjoining the A node, that means we will include uh, some material here which we don't know yet and also here after the C, here before the B. And now we are putting in some placeholders for this case which we just name X and Y. So um, with a junction we can get any material here, we don't know what it is yet but it will be filled by those X and those Y. And we get those x and those y part by those beta tree and we write this down with the right hand side predicate which we name the same as the tree. And this will yield us some x material for the first part and some y material for the right part. And because this is an adjunction tree here can be here will be some more material in between, so this one is producing two different strings which will be included here. Now let's look at those 
D that will yield us some more material. We are including this now with a new variable called Z. And we will get those uh, variable filled by the new gamma tree, which will yield us those Z material, the part that will be included in the Z. Now, for the junction, we can have different markers. So we can, at those A, we, would, we could have an OA, so obligatory adjoint, that would mean we must adjoin at this point. Or we would, have, would could have an NA, which means null adjoint, so we must never, we, we must not adjoin at this point. But in this case, this A has no markers. That means we can adjoin, but we can also not adjoin if we decide to. So here with these variables, we have now covered the case that we are adjoining and those beta tree is yielding us material for the X and the Y. And now I'm writing a second production rule that covers the case where we are not adjoining in this in this A. And this, this looks similar to this. We are just not uh, having those additional materials. So we are having those A, B, C string. A substitution is obligatory. So we have to keep those Z part and we are also keeping, we also need to keep those gamma part on the right hand side. But we are not, um, if we are not adjoining this case, and there's no better predicate included um, on the right hand side. So this is a production rule now that covers the case where we are not adjoining in the A. So let's write, let, let, let's, now we are done for the alpha tree. Now let's look at those gamma tree that we have only where we don't have really much to think about. So if you have those trees, this will just produce those uh, determinal D string. And we are not, um, uh, here's, here we cannot adjoin and there are also no substitution nodes. So in the production rule, we don't depend on any other trees. That means on the right hand side, we don't also have any predicates, so we are just writing epsilon. So then we are done with the second tree. Now let's look at the third tree. And here we also have, again, two cases. We can do another adjunction in the A or we can let it be. So we, are ne we will need two more production rules for this case. I'm just writing them down like this. So oh, and then I will fill them out. So we could have the case that we are adjoining here and then I'm just took another color. If we are adjoining this A then we will include we will get more material left and right of it. Uh, we don't know at this point what it will be, but we need to be prepared for that case. So in this case, we can reuse our variable. So we will have some, some X part on the left and some Y part on the right. We will have our, both our A's and then, um, between those A's, as I, as I mentioned before, we will, if we perform a junction, then some other parts of the tree will be added to this part. So those two A's are not one string, but belong to two different parts of the overall string. They are two strings, so I'm symbolizing this with a comma here. And then for the junction part, um, the only tree I can adjoin here is the beta tree. So I will have those beta predicate, which yields those X and those Y part, just as we did for the first production rule. 
and then we also have the case where we don't adjoin anything so we are, we are not adjoining on this a because there's uh, no marker that tells us that we have to adjoin so we cannot we can also leave it b then in this case the bettered uh, production rule will only produce those two a strings and because we don't depend on any other tree we will have an empty right hand side we don't have any predicates on the right hand side of the rule and now here you have it we have our production rules for the lcfrs in simple rcg notation that produces the same string language as those tree adjoining grammar